Yeah, well, or I guess... Or is it so. afternoon? I guess I did sleep a little late. Hmm. Hmm. A little? Hmm. Well, with good reason. I mean, I was at the... I was at headquarters till about three this morning. What's this mess here? Breakfast, maybe? No, I'm... I'm practicing my technique for dinner tonight. Ugh. You know, this is homemade pasta. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm finished with this, I'm gonna be a first-rate capo cuoco. You always will, huh? What's that? It's a, a, a first-class gourmet chef. Uh, read this ad. See this one? I saw it when I read it this morning. Be a star. You know, you know what I think? What? I think that I have something to do with that complaint that you were telling me about yesterday. What do you think? You really want to know what I think? Yeah, of course. Stick to your pasta. Well, but I'm serious. Don't just brush it off. Oh, uh, come on, Holly. Look, give it a read. Don't read it. Oh, never mind. Just listen. Be a star. Take ten dancing lessons. Guarantee audition for a Broadway show. And then there's a telephone number. Okay, look. We've had a few complaints, a few calls. But you can't possibly rope that in with the ad there. I mean... What if it's legitimate? I mean, it, it probably is just what it says a dance studio. And it could be a lot more. I have a very definite feeling about this. Mm, well, I have a very definite homicide I better look into. Oh, are you making any progress with that? A little, but it's tough. Oh, my. The pasta, they say if you leave it alone, it's going to get hard. Huh? Hey, look. You're still making all this stuff here? Yes. This stuff, your information, is going to be delicioso. That's huh? Italian for out of this world. Really? Well, as I'll be home for dinner, uh, what are we having? Very funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Well, arrivederci. Uh, that's, that's another Italian I word. I know what that it means. means. Just means get out of get here. Get out of here, right. Mind some company? I saw Robert on the way out. And he said... Hi, Celia. What are you doing? Don't tell me. You're opening an Italian restaurant. Believe me, this can be very tricky. How's Grant? <laughs> oh, he's okay. He's happy to be working anyway, at least temporarily. Yeah, I can imagine. We're all better when we have something to do. Mm hmm I know I am. Holly, I love my work. I get wrapped up in it, and all of a sudden the day is gone before I know it. Well, I think it's wonderful that we all have something to do and something that we like, because that's very important, isn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. take me. You? I could have a future as a, as a pasta maker. Grant doesn't even know that we moved into the gatehouse yet. When will he find out? When he walks in the front door. Can't wait to see his face. I just wish I could be doing a little more for him. In the old days, we were going to San Moritz to go skiing. Oh, where would I be? Who knows? You know, sometimes I think, wouldn't it be fun to go back to that one exciting adventure after another? It's the way I felt when I got my trust fund money. It was all I could do to not spend the whole thing in one wonderful spree. Why don't we? Why don't we what? Blow your trust fund. We could be in the Swiss Alps in ten hours. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you jest. Unfortunately, yes, I do. But it's a lovely thought, isn't it? Yes, it is. Holly, this is a rotten thing to say, but I hate saving and scrimping and planning every nickel. It's no way to live. Do you and Grant really have to be that careful? Definitely. Well, what about your father? Hasn't he offered to help? Yes, he offered. Grant refused. Oh, dear. So, I suppose things will just work out eventually. In the meantime, why don't you go shopping with me? And buy something outrageous? No, no. There's a white sale going on, and my trust fund money is just enough so that I can redo the gatehouse bedroom. Well, as a matter of fact, I've been looking at the ads in the papers. There's some very good bargains. Mm-hmm. I know. And that's a good thing, because I want to do the whole kit and caboodle. I want to get sheets, pillowcases, shams, a table skirt, matching curtains, the whole works. Come with me. I'd love to. And in fact, if there are any bath sheets on towel, I might splurge and get a couple myself. Does this strike you as funny? Funny? 
Yeah, the two of us. I mean, women with our backgrounds, sitting here talking about how to save money on sheets and towels. It's funny. And at the same time, it's not funny at all. No, I know what you mean. Excuse me? Mm. Hey, hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Scorpio. Hello. How can I help you? Oh, yes, how nice to hear from you again. Uh, what? What can I do for you? One of those women from the city hall who has lots of causes and loves to hear herself talk. <laughs> Uh, no, so yes, of course. Fascinating, yes, just fascinating. What can I do? Uh, they want me to do a picture for the booklet, the, the beautification booklet. Uh, yes, no, I think you do marvelous work, just marvelous. Of course, of course. Uh, apparently, Gail Baldwin and I could check personally. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, well, we're both thrilled to help. We really would like to. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, w would you excuse me? Uh, there's somebody at the door. I really have to get... Uh, I'll be right back to you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here before she calls back. Oh, yes. Well, you know, you said that you didn't lead an exciting life, but imagine your picture on the cover of a Beautification Society magazine. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> we can stop on the way to the sale if that's okay with you. I'll mm. be two seconds, I'll get changed. Okay. <laughs> The beautification lady is at the end of this hall. Don't you owe the taxpayers an explanation? Hiring a, a trader like Grant Putnam and putting him on the payroll? I think I heard someone mention Grant's name. Miss Templeton, will you please leave? You absolutely have no right to be in here. Tell your boss to answer my question. I'll be out of here in a flash. Why did you hire Grant Putnam? Well, it's a long story and one you obviously do not understand. I think my readers will. Think about it. Grant Putnam is a self-admitted, filthy DVX agent. How would you like to read in the paper Lee Baldwin, mayor of Port Charles, not only hired him for a volunteer's job, but paid him as well? You know what this is like? It's as if uh, our brilliant police commissioner, Scorpio, had a wife who was a former uh, criminal. You never then give again, up, do you? Uh, that's the truth. Oh, well, well, I was just speaking about you. Yes, I'm sure for my benefit, too. Well, I did hear. Why are you attacking Grant? Oh, come on. Grant attacked the whole, the whole country. Or don't you think that's important? Our mayor has hired a vicious, underhanded spy, and you're asking me why I'm attacking? You don't know what attack is. One more word for me. I mean it. One more word out of your mouth, and I'll wrap that stupid rag you write for around your neck. Sir, don't you think I ought to go for the officers? Don't bother. I have everything I need. Oh, no, you have nothing. Read the paper tomorrow. And I'll save you the trouble of looking. It'll be on the front page. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Look, tell me something. Will you? Now, what's with a girl like that? I mean it. Now, I, I do not understand women like that. No, oh, it's quite simple, Lee. Not to me, it is No. She hates Robert. And because Robert is friends with Grant, she wants to hurt Grant, too. It's a personal vendetta, then. Yeah, vendetta is exactly the word for it. She's getting at Robert through Grant. I just keep asking myself why. It's quite clear, Celia. No, I mean, why they won't just leave Grant alone? Why can't they just let us get on with our lives? today's paper. Yes, the one that says you... Uh, yes, the one about auditioning for a Broadway show. I can? Oh, good. Uh, wait a minute. I just have to write this down. Excuse me. Just a minute. Uh, yes, 
Uh, Mr. Hannibal? Okay, yes. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Holly, what do you think you're doing? Now? Uh, I'm just going to finish making this pasta. I mean, it's a phone call. Oh, you heard. Look, what do you want to get involved in this for? Huh? What if it turns... What do you want to get involved in this for? Because I think there's a scam going on. We have a bunko squad which deals with things like this. Anyway, what if it turns out to be legitimate? The worst thing that can happen is I take ten dancing lessons. Hey, I might turn out to be a Broadway star. Oh, well, that's all right. You've just gone out of your mind. Listen, if I don't finish this, we're not going to have any dinner tonight. Would you mm. mind putting on some water to boil? Mm -hmm. And I'll finish this linguine pasta. I was having my picture taken. What for? But, well, I went to... Uh, it's for the beautification booklet. Anyway, we went past Lee's office, and uh, Jackie Templeton was in there. Mm. And, uh... Anyway, she was really yelling at Lee. You wouldn't believe what she was saying to him. Well, so what's she got her knickers in a twist about now? Grant Putnam. She thinks that an ex-spy should not be on the city payroll. Kid doesn't give up, does she? No, she didn't give up on me either. She managed to remind everyone that our police commissioner is married to a, a, an ex-convict. Damn her. Oh, forget it. It doesn't bother me. Well, it bothers me. I'd like to wring her bloody neck. Well, save your strength. I need it anyway. Need what? Your strength. Would you mind? Trying to get the pasta out of this machine. I thought it was supposed to just fall out. Yeah, well, it is, but it got a little hard, so if you could just chip at it a bit. Look, with the uh, capo hot cocoa, like I suggested. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is your suggestion? Take this outside and we'll repave the drive with it. Thank you. 